Jimmy Garoppolo is hurt again. He's going to miss multiple weeks, and I'm just going to say it now. It's over for Jimmy Garoppolo in San Francisco. Yes, Colin Coward, one of the men who championed Jimmy Garoppolo when Jimmy G was still in New England, has said that he believes Jimmy Garoppolo is done in San Francisco. But the argument that he makes here goes to a larger point about how the media treats quarterbacks and treats certain stories in general. Let's talk about it. So the obvious question here is, am I reacting to Colin Coward uh, for the clicks, for the clickbait? And the answer is, yeah, a little, a little. <laughs> but but most importantly, I mean, that's a, that's a piece of it. But more importantly, I wanted to talk about this particular argument that we are going to hear Coward make in a second. Uh, because I think that it goes to a bigger point about about sports media and how they treat uh, certain certain stories, certain athletes, um, and going beyond just qu the quarterback position, going beyond even just football. So let's get to Colin Coward's uh, immediate, his first argument, his premise here. And by the way, before we start, I have no issue with Colin Coward at all. I actually really like Colin Coward. Um, so this is not me saying, oh, Colin Coward, what an idiot, what a moron. No, I, I th he's making a point here that I want to directly address uh, because from my perspective, there's something here worth talking about. So let's get into the actual argument that he makes. There are three things as a quarterback that will end your career for one team. You're inconsistent. Garoppolo is. The coach has lost faith, to, faith in you. The coach has and you can't stay healthy. Where he starts with this argument is the, these three tenets, right? You're inconsistent, the coach loses faith, and you're injury prone. And what he does is he will then go on to say, oh, you know, this is, this is the evidence for why Jimmy Garoppolo is done in San Francisco. But he will then say that Garoppolo can go somewhere else, and he brings up New England in particular as some place that he could go next because those things won't be true in New England. But do you see the problem here? Things, things one and three contribute to thing two. Your inconsistency and the fact that you are injury prone contributes to the fact that the coach doesn't trust you anymore. Just going to New England doesn't change your, your injury proneness or the fact that you're inconsistent. Developing as a passer changes those things, but Jimmy Garoppolo has had several years now to develop as a passer, and he has it. He's had several years to demonstrate that he's not injury prone, and he has it. And obviously being injury prone isn't exactly his fault, but you're playing on a team that is not asking you to throw the ball 50 times a game. You're not dropping back 50 times. So you would think that compared to a guy like Russell Wilson, in that division is you know that's that's somebody that can actually that is a good comparison metric because Russell Wilson is never hurt and he drops back he passes more than Garoppolo so for for Colin Coward to say that Garoppolo is inconsistent the coach loses trust in him and he's injury prone that's why he's done in San Francisco well you have to explain to me why he would then be be able to have a career somewhere else there was something else here that uh, that coward said that i thought was was interesting and again goes to this kind of bigger narrative this bigger picture about how the media treats uh, certain stories like this it doesn't mean his career is over by the way you know who i think they're going to go after two people matt ryan probably too expensive or sam darnold I think Sam Darnold for the Colts, for Washington, and specifically San Francisco. I know they liked Darnold. I know they liked him in the draft. Sam Darnold. That, that's the guy that he says. Sam Darnold is the guy that you want to replace Jimmy Garoppolo with. What did Colin Coward just say ended Jimmy Garoppolo's career in San Francisco? He's inconsistent. The coach doesn't trust him. And he's injury prone. Well, Sam Darnold's a big guy, but he certainly had injuries throughout his career, not to the extent of Jimmy Garoppolo, but then again, uh, Sam Darnold is not as big 
or I'm sorry, uh, Sam Darnold uh, has not played as many years in the NFL, I should say, uh, as Jimmy Garoppolo. But more importantly, if your issue with Jimmy Garoppolo is the inconsistency, and that's why he's done in San Francisco, the man that you bring up to replace him is Sam Darnold? The Sam Darnold, I mean, Sam Darnold is the picture of consistency, right? I mean, come on. Have you watched a Jets game? You don't say, I need, a, I need a quarterback that's going to be more consistent. I don't need him to make 100 throws. I don't need him to throw for 400 yards a game. I just need to know that when he drops back in the pocket, he's going to make the throws that I need him to make. And Sam Darnold is the guy you're going to trust with that? This is where I make my, my main point that I wanted to talk about. The reason why I'm reacting to Colin Coward in, in doing this video. What the media tends to do is the media will get the narrative. And I've been watching Coward for uh, for a number of years. I mean, pretty much ever since he moved to Fox. So uh, I, I have seen the certain narratives develop over the years, which is why I, I make this video about him. And I wouldn't necessarily make this video about, you know, someone like Stephen A. Smith, who I never really watch. I don't know how his narratives have developed. But I know that Colin Coward, from the time Jimmy Garoppolo came in for Tom Brady during Brady's Deflategate suspension, Colin Coward has loved Jimmy Garoppolo. And I know that from Sam Darnold's final season at USC, and even before that, Colin Coward has loved Sam Darnold. Those are two uh, preconceptions that Colin Coward has about these two guys. Now, what Coward has done here and again, by extension, any any time the media has constructed a narrative, what happens is they will use the circular logic to justify how their narrative can still be right even if they're proved wrong. And again, this has nothing to do with Colin Coward as a person or as a radio host. I think he's great. I'm just pointing out the contradiction in his argument here. What he's done is he said, well, because Jimmy Garoppolo is inconsistent, because the coach lost faith in him, and because he's injury prone, he's done in San Francisco. Disregarding the fact that factors one and three, being inconsistent, being injury prone, will lead to factor two. And like I've explained before, those things don't change. But so for Coward, he's saying, well, you can be done in San Francisco, but that doesn't mean that with these traits that don't just go away when you move, that you can go somewhere else and be successful. So now he's opened the door to saying, okay, Jimmy Garoppolo can still be a great quarterback. He can still be an elite level quarterback, just not with San Francisco. But not because the system doesn't fit, not because uh, you know th there's there's been some coach turnover. I mean, you see guys like Josh Rosen get their careers just absolutely ruined by frequent coaching turnover that they have no control over. Uh, not because of any of that, but because of qualities that you yourself as a quarterback are going to take forward. But you can leave and still be successful. And now when it comes to Sam Darnold, he's using the same logic to justify how Sam Darnold can show up in San Francisco and also be successful by saying that Sam Darnold, the same thing, specifically about the inconsistency and the fact that clearly the Jets coaches have lost trust in him, that because of that, he, Sam Darnold, can go to San Francisco and those traits will, again, just magically disappear. They'll just be gone. Because the narrative that Jimmy Garoppolo and Sam Darnold are elite level NFL quarterbacks or will be elite level NFL quarterbacks means that when Garoppolo fails in San Francisco, when Sam Darnold fails in New York, that if they go somewhere else, they won't fail. Even though all of the traits that made them fail are going to follow them the next team that they go to. Coward briefly mentions that New England has a much better offensive line, and so it means that Jimmy Garoppolo probably won't get hurt as much, which is fair. New England does have a better offensive line than San Francisco, but what I mentioned earlier about the fact that Garoppolo was throwing the ball 30 times a game, or at least when the 49ers have success, he's throwing the ball 30 times a game. That's the same thing New England will be doing. So Garoppolo may face a couple fewer pressures, but it's not like it's not like he's dropping back 50 times and facing all of that pressure every game. He's not. Not like Russell Wilson is. You know, just, just for example, because Wilson is in that division. So 
What we're seeing is Coward create the narrative that Jimmy Garoppolo, even though the, the forces that, that made him fail are his own, that he, he can still go somewhere else and have success. That magically his inconsistency and his uh, his his injury prone uh, trait will just go away when 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 he goes somewhere else. They'll just disappear. Um, and and by extension, the same thing will happen to Sam Darnold. Should Sam Darnold go to San Francisco or should he go to Washington, which has uh, <laughs> they they have way less in place in terms of their pieces than San Francisco does. So that's the narrative. And you can see that he's constructed the circular logic to justify the narrative. Now, I'm thinking uh, next week, I want to actually do a video about Jimmy Garoppolo in particular. And I want to get to the bedrock of the narrative and, and, and disprove this idea that Jimmy Garoppolo is an elite NFL quarterback that has just been down on his luck because of injuries. I want to disprove that. So I'm going to do a video next week where uh, I go over Jimmy Garoppolo's numbers and, and, and I show you what I believe is a good argument to say that Jimmy Garoppolo should not be a starting quarterback for a playoff team in the National Football League right now. So subscribe so you can see that video. And uh, if you have anything else to add, maybe I missed something about Coward's argument here. Uh, I'll link the, the full video in the description, of course, so you can see uh, what I'm talking about, you can see the full context. I only showed you a couple clips, so I encourage you to go watch it and, and see his arguments. And then come back here and, and let's break it down. Let's see if there's something I've missed. Um, or if you disagree and you think that there is some reason that the inconsistency and the injury proneness will just go away if, if you leave your original team that you're on. If you think that's true, let me know and uh, and let's talk about it. But, you know, I had a lot of fun making this video, so uh, I hope you all had a lot of fun watching it. And uh, subscribe so you can see my video next week about Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, and I we, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much.